Star Wars Collector Order 66 here, and I am outside my local Super Target, and I wanted to show you guys what I got. Okay, first off, this is not for me, this is for my sister, but I found a Smurf, it's Papa Smurf's Lab, sorry about the glare, it's, there's snow outside, but if you can see that, I got it for $3.88, it's regularly 13 bucks. Next up, we got the, put it down here, the Halo Covenant Brute Prowler, $6.58, normally $22, so I had to pick that up. Next up, I bought these, or this, because I've always been a fan of it. Three dollars and eleven cents. I got Sonic the Hedgehog, the 1991 version. Regularly ten thirty-nine. So all that was on clearance. And then this I picked up because um, they're going to be getting rid of these soon and putting out the new wave. So I figured I might as well get them now. I got the um, Clone Trooper Heavy in training armor. Great figure. I got the Undead Geonosian, which I was really wanting this, and I'd never seen it before, in stores, locally. And then I got R4P17. He's a cool figure. That would be Obi-Wan's um, R2 unit. have not found Ahsoka. And then the last one. Clone Pilot Goji, which is a pretty cool one. Kind of reminds me of Matchstick's helmet, but um, it is different. And that is definitely a cool figure. Okay, then I did stop by also Walmart to do some shopping for food. <laughs> and while we were there, I checked out the toys. And they had a Clone Trooper Rex for $3.40. So I picked them up. Have to at that price. And then my local Walmart has the new 2011 stuff in. I mean the 2012, sorry. And they had all four of the first wave vehicles. And I decided to pick one up while I was there. I got the... Hang on, if I can get this to work. Got the Anakin Skywalker Pod Racer. That is the new box. And they had this, they had Sebulba's, Sith Infiltrator, and the AAT. I already have an AAT, so I'm not going to get that one, but I am going to get the other two. There's a look at the back for you. Once again, sorry about the glare. There's snow outside. There is no figure, but they show an Anakin... Pod Racer Pilot figure, so I'm hoping they come out with one to match this uh, set. I don't know if it's going to be in the Vintage Collection or the regular, but I really hope they have one. But, um, thank you for watching. This is going to be my final haul of January. I'm not going to get any more till February. But, um, I did take a look at the new, I guess it was the Saga Legends line. It was kind of, it, it kind of confuses me since it's had, it was the one with the, um, same, like, um, packaging as this. So the Darth Maul and the white and blue Star Wars like that. I believe that's the Saga Legends, but I didn't like it very much when I looked at it. Um, there wasn't anything new. There was, uh, pretty much all the same stuff. Um, there was, uh, Shock Trooper, regular Clone Trooper, Darth Maul, they had Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan. Um... They had Super Battle Droid, Destroyer Droid, and Regular Battle Droid. And I think that was it. So there was nothing really interesting. I mean, I might pick up a Shock... I think... Are they Shock Troopers or Security Troopers? I don't remember. They're the uh, ones that um, stay with Palpatine in the third movie. I believe those are the Shock Troopers. But um, there wasn't really anything interesting. I might pick up one of those. But other than that, I'm just going to collect the vehicles for now until the Vintage Collection line comes out, or um, the new Clone Wars Wave. So I will be doing a review on this, so check out this, or um, look 
this week on my uh, channel for that. That should come out soon. And I hope you like this video. See you later.